Welcome. I'm Kim Casco, and I'm President and CEO of the Iowa City Area Chamber of Commerce. And on behalf of the Chamber team and the board, I'd like to welcome everyone to our Excellence in Education Awards Ceremony. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. I'd first like to thank uh, our various corporate sponsors for, for making this celebration of excellence of education possible today. Our premier sponsor for this event is A.W. Welt and Briscoe, and I'd like to say a few words about them. Uh, A.W. Welt and Briscoe is changing the way you look at insurance. Protecting your business and family isn't just having the right policies, it's about identifying and managing the risks unique to you. Their goal is to help you reduce your overall risk profile and to provide you with a level of service that is unmatched in the area. Thank you, A.W. Welt and Briscoe, for sponsoring. I'd also like to recognize our gold sponsors, Dr. Suzanne Stock, orthodontist, Hills Bank and Trust Company, Newman Munson PC Architects, Pearson, and University of Iowa Healthcare. And lastly, I'd like to recognize our two sponsors who provide funding for all the, of the educational endeavors throughout the year. And those are ACT and the University of Iowa, Office of the President and Office of Outreach and Engagement. Thank you to all of our sponsors. So education is a high priority for the Chamber and our member businesses. We are very lucky to have such exceptional educators in our community and students as well. And, are, and we are honored to have the opportunity to recognize some of them today. Um, so we're going to get started here. Uh, so here to present today's first award, which is the Teacher Excellence Award, is a sponsor of our event today, Bethany Welsh. Bethany is a Treasury Management Officer at Hills Bank and Trust Company. Okay, Paul Pressler of Willow End School writes, for the past 10 years, Michelle has proven herself as the consummate professional working in the best interest of the current and future Willow End students, both as a kindergarten teacher and as a curriculum coordinator. In Michelle's classroom, curriculum is always visible, tangible, accessible, and purposeful. While this may sound simple, these are often the missing ingredients in a successful and meaningful education. Michelle finds a way each day to make learning the center of her students' quality world. In her classroom, school is not a task, but rather a daily adventure. Here to accept her Teacher Excellence Award is Michelle Beninga. Congratulations to Michelle. Our next award is the Student Excellence Award, and it's going to be presented by our sponsor, Dr. Suzanne Stock. Elizabeth Bruning of Northwest Junior High writes, Paris is an outstanding student, an accomplished musician and student body president. He is always going the extra mile and doing so with a smile on his face. His teachers describe him as hardworking, a critical thinker, and a problem solver. Paris is a student leader. He is wise beyond his years, and he is always willing to help others. He is consistently positive and appreciative. He doesn't take anything for granted and pushes himself to be better at everything he does. I can't imagine a more deserving student for the Excellence in Education Award. Here to accept his award for student excellence is Paris Vasuk. Congratulations, Paris. Our next award is the Student <coughs> Team Group Excellence Award. Here to present that award is a sponsor of today's event, Kevin Munson of Newman Munson Architects. Barb 
Riley of Regina High School writes, the Regina Mini Dance Marathon team organized the dance benefit to help fundraise for the University of Iowa Dance Marathon. The event was held in the Regina Elementary Gymnasium in January and was attended by parents and students from the elementary school to the high school. The team organized speakers and activities, publicized the event, and collected donations. Over $16,000 was raised by their efforts, exceeding last year's total by almost $5,000. These girls did not only are excellent students and involved in a variety of school activities, but they found time to organize this worthy benefit. Here to accept the award for the student team, Group Excellence, on behalf of the Regina Dance Marathon is Abby Gould, Anna Stemmel, Caitlin Merhammer and Andrea Adam. Congratulations, ladies. Our next award is the Science and Technology Excellence Award, as well as the Administrative Support Staff Award. Here to present both of the, those awards is the sponsor of today's event, Jackie Kleppe, who's a director of Collegiate and Community Relations at the University of Iowa Healthcare. Colby Miller of North Central Junior High writes, Susie Co Corbin Muir dedications to STEM learning is evident through her leadership with North Central Junior High's makerspace. She's played an integral role in creating innovative learning opportunities for students. She's turned our media center into a multifunctional space where students can explore and learn through the use of technology. Her technology expertise allows the use of multiple technology devices and software to reach students across disciplines. Mrs. Corbin Muir continues to model for our staff what progressive teaching and learning can look like. Under her leadership, students are excited about the opportunities she offers in the media center throughout the school year and throughout the summer. She steps beyond the boundaries of a traditional classroom and creates a learning environment that is hands-on, project-based, and student-driven. Here to accept her award for science and technology excellence is Susie Corbin Muir. <laughs> Anne Browning of Tate High School writes. Sandy Barnes has served as the administrative assistant at Tate High School for five years, and excellent in education is just what she accomplishes. Sandy manages several job responsibilities throughout the day, and due to her strong organizational and excellent time management skills, she makes her job look easy. In fact, our staff often overlooks how busy she really is. Sandy's several roles include principal secretary, faculty secretary, financial secretary, registrar, and nurse to students when the nurse is out of the building. Individually, each of those jobs entails detailed work that requires complete concentration, yet when interrupted, she's always happy to help. In addition, Sandy volunteers for our social committee, prom committee, and attends all of our building functions. Sandy has excellent attendance and work ethic. We are so dependent on her that our building would be lost without her. Again, because she makes her job look so easy and the building runs so smoothly, we too many times forget that Sandy is completing all the necessary functions that make Tate such an excellent place to work and go to school. Here to accept her award for administrative support staff excellence is Sandy Barnes.
Congratulations, Sandy. Here to present the Administrator Excellence Award and Volunteer Excellence Award is another sponsor of today's event, Sandy Deschnickel, who's the Asset Creation Manager at Pearson. Amy Kortemeyer of the Iowa City Community School District writes, Mr. Proud has brought a tremendous amount of innovative and energizing experiences to Garner Elementary. The teaching staff have worked together to transform the learning environment while also creating a positive school culture. Being a Garner Gator means a lot to all students, staff, and parents at Garner. Nick is forward thinking and constantly looking for new ways to increase student learning outcomes for the students at Garner. We are proud to nominate Nick for the Administrator Excellence Award. Here to accept his award for Administrator Excellence is Nick Proud. Christy Hefner of Penn Elementary writes, Nancy is a delightful, warm-hearted, energetic person. She has volunteered weekly at Penn for literally years and years. She recently celebrated her 80th birthday with great joy. Everyone loves Mrs. Kaiser. Teachers value her assistance. All of the children want to turn to work with Mrs. Kaiser, and everyone enjoys lunch more when she is in the break room. Nancy is every teacher's dream volunteer. She is a retired teacher, so she brings a lot of expertise and experience to every task and interaction. She is dependable and so capable. She is willing and able to help students with anything, reading, spelling, math facts, long division, and even fractions. When students work with Mrs. Kaiser, they are getting more than ex extra practice. They are cared for, encouraged, enjoyed, empowered, and engaged in meaningful learning. Mrs. Kaiser loves children and learning and teachers in school. Her words are always true, wise, and encouraging. She is quick to laugh and does not take herself too seriously. She is kind and generous. Many people volunteer, but it is a rare gift to encounter Nancy Kaiser. Here to accept her award for volunteer excellence is Nancy Kaiser. Congratulations, Nancy. So our final award this afternoon is the Partnership Excellence Award, and I get to present this one. Carrie Mer Merriweather of North Central Junior High writes, Noble Knights is facilitated by Tyson Worth of Big Brothers and Big Sisters and Amy Collar from 4-H of Johnson County. Each group meeting starts with a snack and time to socialize for about 15 minutes. After the social snack, Tyson and Amy guide the students through a fun exercise that has a community building focus along with life lessons intertwined. Students in Noble Knights attend three to four field trips per year to local places such as the University of Iowa Rec Center and Amy's Family Farm where students focus on team building and recreation such as fishing and barbecue lunch. Are adults allowed to join this Noble Knights <laughs> program? <laughs> Sounding good. Um, because of Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and 4-H, the students experience community offerings that they otherwise wouldn't. In addition to the field trips, the students in Noble Knights perform a yearly community service project. In the past, they've played games with the seniors at the Senior Center and collected supplies for the local shelter house. Tyson and Amy both go above and beyond with this group of students to make sure positive relationships are made with students, helping them to stay connected to school. Here to accept the Partnership Excellence Award on behalf of Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and 4-H of Johnson County are Tyson Worth and Amy Kolar. You're going to have to trade that one back and forth. <laughs> Congratulations to Tyson and Amy. 
So this concludes our program. I'd like to give one final round of applause for all of today's award recipients. Thank you for all that you do for our community. Thank you also once again to our sponsors that, that make this event possible, our premier sponsor, A.W. Welt and Briscoe, our gold sponsors, Doc, Dr. Suzanne Stock, Hills Bank and Trust Company, Newman Munson Architects, Pearson and University of Iowa Healthcare, and our 2017 education sponsors, ACT and the University of Iowa Office of the President and Office of Outreach and Engagement. Thank you for celebrating excellence in education in our community with us today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Mm -hmm.